Hello guys, I would like to present my new wooden project which made with a CNC machine. In this project I used uh, acrylic glass, American walnut wood and LED lighters. I also used charging device from smartphone uh, to provide charging functionality. I decided to start from acrylic plastic. I am fixing my workpiece with double sided scotch tape. This time it's a transparent one, but really it doesn't matter. I adjusted my engraver and started to cut. This acrylic glass is a pretty good material and I very really like it to process it by my CNC. I was expecting some problems with it, but absolutely don't have them. I fixed this workpiece without removing protective film from both sides. And when I was unsticking it, uh, I left my uh, protective film on the table. It's not so good because I have lost my protection and need to find other way to fix my workpieces for the future. It's a pretty clear sign. So let's start to damage my electronic devices. This one it's a pretty weak Samsung charging device about uh, 0 0.15 ampere. I'm starting to prepare my workpiece for the CNC. This walnut is pretty good for processing. I very like it. I'm making flat surfaces by CNC with this uh, white special bit. and using miter saw to make front side cut. And this mortise I need for acrylic plastic panel. And this hole for my micro USB plug. I will use this 8mm end mill to make pockets. My top side mortises and the bottom side pocket going to join. And one more tilted pocket from back side. Let's start to cut aluminum to make LED cooler. And here I am making uh, parallel mortises from both sides uh, crosswise. I am trying my cooler in place and going to make a logo engraving. This is a 45 degree engraving bit. I am adjusting zero position and starting CNC. And now I need to round this corner by my grinder. And these holes I need to provide cooling airflow. So it is intermediate result. As usual, I'll cover my walnut detail uh, by Osmotop oil. I need to make one layer and uh, two hours wait and make second one. And go back to electronics. I need to shorten my cable and attach it again.
Here I am using shrinking sleeves to protect contacts and thermo glue to fix lighters. They dry about one hour and then uh, I can connect them uh, with each other. I need to put wooden block here and then I fix my uh, aluminum plate on it. A little soldering and my lighters are connected. Let's try. Next I am using a new for me a trick with a baking soda. I've took this from Dmitry Lutsenko channel. Let's check it. I think uh, everybody who uh, likes my videos uh, would not be disappointed. Uh, with this baking soda and acrylic glue dries very quick and create something like, I don't know what is it, uh, plastic? Oh. I'm fixing my cooling panel with two screws and pull the cable inside the body. The hot glue is next, a very convenient way to fixing anything. Heating shrinking sleeves and put my acrylic glass panel in the slot. I am using hot glue again. Final assembly and my device is ready. According to my plan, uh, this cooler uh, should be opened from the bottom and should take air and release heat up. I really like how Peugeot logo turns with the CNC. I definitely must to make something with this plastic again. Ok, but where is the light? Boom! It's not a smartphone docking station, but seems a powerful lamp. I definitely went too far with this light. I think I need to find something smaller and try it again. All these experiments, it's my first steps in LED lighting. And if you can, let give me advices about equipment. In closest time, I want to rebuild my device and show it again. See you next time.